welcome back to Retro Renovation. Today we are going on a walk. On a walk. And we're going to use this as our guide. Okay, we're going to go a little bit back to Kenny and Avon. We are indeed. Someone's naughty, they still haven't made their video of the 100 miles they did. 97. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, I will make that video. Today our mode of transport is the Rover 214, that's our choice today to take us to our starting point and then our mode of transport is our feet <laughs> yeah i'm not looking forward to this i can I take am. you for six miles yes yeah, so we're doing six miles today and we are doing as we said we're going to follow the instructions from this book we're doing which a is, circular route which is what i actually used because to do the whole length of the kent and avon because there is a section that does the whole lot over seven days and then there are 20 circular walks after that that you can do in little sections and that is one of the ones we are doing today. So the highlights of today that we're going to show you is Cofton Beam Pumping House, Pumping house. and they are done by steam. Mm, we won't be going in there, we'll do that as another trip because they're it's closed for Covid. So. so when it reopens we'll take you there. And we're also going to Great Bedwin and to Wilton, so we're hopefully we may get a view of the windmill as well. The original one. Mm -hmm. The old, I think it's the oldest in Wiltshire. I think it is, yeah. But it was, we'll it was derelict for a while, wasn't it? And yeah. then they've actually managed to uh, restore it to its natural beauty. Come along. Sit. 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 Go on adventure. So we have this lead that clips onto his harness and then just straps in, clicks in on the seatbelt and that's for legal reasons and then he won't fly through a windscreen if the worst ever happened. Woo Jackie boy! Hello! a canal and a straight lot, lot of canal so the gimbal plays ball there's a straight lot of canal and can you hear that humming that's a bird that's a train just through there you might be able to see it there's the train waiting to go into Great Bedwind Station the railway once again is Follows running the canal. following the canal and that'll be off to Reading won't it that will be same as the canal Bridge 97, yeah? Yeah. Interesting fact for you. When you go from Reading to Bristol, 
the locks count down. But when you come from Bristol to Reading, the actual bridges count up. Backwards, isn't it? Yeah, it's very backwards. Isn't it? I was kind of pulled along that stretch by a certain fairy thing. A four-legged fairy thing. Oh, he didn't have pull. <laughs> so we're coming up to another bridge now. And our second set of locks. Second set of locks. to nowhere. What can you see? The Crofton pumping station. You can just see the tower. You can just the see the tower. Off we go. So I just found this uh, piece of metal, a round circular piece of metal in the hedge. Which Peggy wouldn't have seen. When I originally done the walk, because all this was completely overgrown, luscious green, because where it was in the height of summer. And now being winter, you can spot things in winter that you can't spot in the summer. So I will add a photo after this. We're just coming up to Cofton Beam Engines, which is just over here. And Peggy's going to tell you all the interesting facts about Cofton, and then we, we'll explore it once uh, once it after lockdown finishes and these places reopen, and we will support them and visit and bring it to you guys. So this is the final part of our stretch on the canal today. You just got to go in between Lock 61, which is underneath the bridge. You can just make it out, and then go ahead towards lock 60 but before we get to lock 60 is where we turn off so we film Cofton and then we turn off and we're going to go through two ancient woodlands and uh, back to Great Redwood and we've taken you along with us today so I hope you're enjoying this sorry Jack's taking us along with him <laughs> Jack's pulling our arms off so I hope you've been enjoying this uh, very very mild wintry walk with us through the fence yeah they're, they're huge aren't they so in the hello forest, in August I took photos of these two and I walked this so they were over here and I got a picture of them in the summer are they bigger now? they're a lot bigger now Piggy. Piggy. What's that, Peggy? 
More pigs. More pigs. I like pigs. I know somebody else that likes pigs too. You're anti -balling. Hi Peggy. So we're here, just coming up to lock 60 and there is Crofton beam engines. Lock 61 is the lock we just went past. We are going to come here, you can see there's a little line there where it says Wilton Windmill, so that's where we're heading. But if you carry it on, you then go towards Bruce Tunnel, which we'll show you on another day. We'll do another day, come join us. We are next to the world famous Crofton Pumping Station, which is near the summit of the Kennet and Avon Canal. It was built in 1807 and the pumps were used to raise the water 12 metres from the natural springs at Wilton up to the summit of the canal to replenish the water lost each time a boat went through a lock. So, like this one. In response to the increase in traffic, along the canal, Wilton Water was created in 1836 to provide a larger store of water that could be pumped into the canal. Although electric pumps have been installed to the pump water into the canal, Crofton's magnificent steam-driven beam engines, one of which, the Bolton & Watt engine dating from 1812, is still the oldest working beam engine in the world. And it can be used several times throughout the year to help out. And we're going to show you the pounds now where it stores the water. And when you, from this point on, when you carry on, there is now no locks. It's now a 15 mile pound canal. Give him a wave. This is the pound. Wilton Waters. Wilton Waters, as Peggy said about. This is where that pumps out. It puts all the water in this huge, huge well, reservoir lake. Mm -hmm. And then lets it down slowly. Through the sluice gate. Either through there, on the overflow. Or if they need the extra water, they can open the gate and let it load through. Into the canal. And we're now going to head off up this path on a different route. We are, we're hoping, I'm hoping. So we are here, we are now going to follow this along and hopefully come up to the windmill. So it's quite a climb now. It is. It's quite a climb and we're running out of daylight. For us, it is half past one, so let's get walking. One of the wonderful things of uh, going on a long walk and you're doing a circular walk so you end up going through fields and woods and so on is you come across strange things that are a bit strange. We are now, in my eyes, in the middle of nowhere and there's a World War II turret just ahead of us. Why do you think it's there? What do you think it's to do with the water? I think it's something to do with the pound that's next to us. Now, what hilariously, from a distance, looked like a World War II turret, turned out to be a chopped down tree. <laughs> Just come across a field yeah. with a mysterious tree. <laughs> um, Coming out now in this lovely village yep, and gonna go with a pond. We're just going to have a quick look at the it. pond. Wilton Village. And it's uh, decorated for Christmas. Crackers. There's a pond on the right at the junction beside the swamp. Hey. 
Why do you make funny noises? You make funny noises. What do you do? Hello. My coat. <laughs> I'm sure you had some out of my pocket. <laughs> Peggy's just going to say if she's got any facts about the windmill and what we will do is we'll make an appointment when it reopens and we'll go and have a tour of the windmill so you guys get to see it. But for today it's just a winter walk. Yeah, I do have some facts. It says the once derelict Wilton windmill was built in 1821. It has been lovingly restored to full working order. The fan tail keeps the sails aligned with the wind and acting as an automatic rudder. Mm. time to 1742 and we found a road to Wilton Braille. I think that's what the roads would have been like back in 1742. It would have been. And we are... It wouldn't have been a book like that though. It wouldn't have been a book like that.
the next bridge is where we parked. And we've done six miles. Yeah. They call it a circular walk. It is mostly circular and there's a section, sorry, Jack's sake, that we have to go come back on to the canal here at the bridge just before this one, so bridge 97. So you've joined us on this lovely end of November. We've seen Kennet and Avon Canal, we've seen Cofton Beam, Crofton, yeah. Crofton yep. Beam Engine Place from a distance. Pumping station. That's the word. <laughs> we've also seen Wilton Windmill as well as Wilton Waters. And we've also came through Wilton Braille, Braille and also Bedwin Braille. So which are the two, two lovely woodlands we've walked through. And now we finish off up the canal, back to a car. And, and for a well deserved drink. Yeah, home, get the wood burning on, get that hot chocolate going. Yeah. See you on the next one. See you guys. Stay safe, stay retro. <laughs> <laughs>